That is good. Did you order more tea? Boy, did I. Oh my god. <laughs> How did you get that much tea? <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. I'm Alaytra Beck. And I'm Jordan Beck. And this is Around the World and Beck. In today's episode, we're bringing back another favorite, Americans Try This Edition Biscuits. We post videos once a week about what it's like for Americans to live in England, as well as our travels to Europe. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can catch every week's episode. And don't forget, leave a comment down below. Let us know what we should try next. So first up, Rich Tea. With all these different types of biscuits we're going to be trying today, we realize you can't enjoy them without a proper cup of tea. So, went ahead and made ourselves some using a lot of tea. A little too much tea. <laughs> Wanted to order some good tea and uh, apparently 600 bags was enough. Um, <laughs> I really thought it was dog food when I saw it on the counter because I've never seen a bag of tea that big. This is crazy. Usually we get them in little tins, but uh, I think we're set for a while. Yeah, I think we're good. We get them a couple of days between now and when we move a piece and still have tea left over. So, all right. First up, we've got rich tea, which is just considered a classic. And to be honest, this was uh, put at the bottom of the this survey that we found but it's got like a little little embossed thing on the front, which is cute. So the way we're gonna do this is we're gonna try the biscuit as is, then we're gonna do a tea dunk test, and then we're gonna give our overall score. One to 10, one to 100, one to 75. We change this every time we do it. <laughs> one to 10? Let's do one to 10. I like it. Okay, ready? Think it. It tastes like an animal cracker. That's exactly what I was thinking. It really does, it tastes just like an animal cracker. All right, I mean, if you've ever had an animal cracker, it tastes just like that. It's, I'd say completely unoffensive. This is the kind of thing that really does go with tea. And then um, I read online saying that this is one of the most dunkable biscuits because it doesn't fall apart when you dunk it, which is, in my opinion, a plus. So I'm gonna dunk it from a non-crumbly side. Dunk, dunk. I don't know how, how many times is a, an appropriate dunk. I don't want to get soggy. Yeah, that's good. I like that it softens it up because it is really dry without the tea. And then you dunk it a little bit and just kind of rounds it out. I think two might have been too much for the dunk. <laughs> Yours get soggy? A little bit. <laughs> Maybe just a quick little dunk. I kind of held mine. So. Yeah. I think that that's a mistake you got to rectify early on. Yep. You know, my inexperience as a, an American, so. I don't know. It's nothing special. It's nothing like unoffensive. It's like, this is four for me. I'd say a five. No, like, it's good. Middle ground. All right. Moving on to the next one. The next biscuit is the Garibaldi biscuit, named after the Italian general. This biscuit has currants in it. No wow. idea what that means, but we're going to find out. You know, currants, like black currant tea or. Sure. Oh my gosh, it's huge. <laughs> it just keeps going. <laughs> oh my gosh. Take it from the natural break. Oh, I got the bigger half. Does that mean that like I get my wishbone like from a turkey? Oh my gosh, it's huge. Ready? Oh. It kind of gives me like Velveeta cracker vibes. I don't know what this gets me. Like there's something there, but I can't taste that. Mm -hmm. It's pleasant. It's it's really simple. I bet this is a good dunking biscuit too because it doesn't feel like super crumbly to me. Okay, ready? Mm -hmm. I said that and then it crumbled a little. So you said two was too much, right? Yes, I'm mm -hmm. gonna real quick little dunk. I think is the way to go. And it's kind of like a smashed Pop-Tart, you know? Bit. If a Pop-Tart didn't have the frosting on it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but it's pleasant. It's probably healthier than a Pop-Tart. <laughs> I feel like this has a lot of fiber in it. Nothing's blown me away so far. Like these first two, I can kind of see why they're they're at the bottom. Like, yeah. uh, like I said, unoffensive biscuit. It's just, it's nice, it's pleasant. You can put it out, snack on it. 
All right, so I'm gonna give it style points for coming out in like a log. I mean, <laughs> a raft maybe. Yeah, a raft. <laughs> but it wasn't like, I don't know, flavor was fine. I'm gonna give it a five. Again, I think I'm gonna have to go five. Yeah. It, it's different enough from the last one, but it's not enough to give it extra or less points. However, we're going up this chart of most favorites. So we've got some good ones ahead. I'm looking forward to them. Up next is Jaffa Cakes. I love Jaffa Cakes so much. I could eat my entire weight in these things. They're so, so good. And we had Elytra's sibling come and visit and I had a whole package available. Wanted to give them a try, didn't like them. Oh, well. Who didn't like them? Didn't like them. I love them. I ate them all. I think that they're, I think they're good. I don't think I like them as much as you like them, but I do like how much like debate there are with these. Like it's just a simple thing, but then there's like, do you eat it chocolate side up, chocolate side down? Is it a cake? Is it a biscuit? Cause it says cake, but it's found in the biscuit aisle. And then in our comment section, last time we had Jaffa cakes, People were like, no, it's a cake, no, it's a biscuit. So I don't know, tell us, is it cake, is it biscuit? Chop it up, chop it down. See, chocolate, biscuit, chocolate, biscuit. Mm -hmm. Mm. We've never dipped these in tea before either. That's true. I think it's pleasant, I like it. You know, I actually just recently learned that there are several different kinds of Jaffa cakes. There's like pineapple and lime and stuff. Maybe we should do a video where we just try Jaffa cakes. Well, I feel like this is a quick dunk one. If you leave it, it's gonna get soggy. Mm. Oh yeah, epic soggy fast. Not made better by the tea by any means. This is not mm -mm. a tea dunker for me. I think it's fine on its own. Mm -hmm. All right. No, I would have to agree. I've even had these frozen before because they kind of melt a little bit in your hands. Mm -hmm. I think those are good too. Not sure if that's what you're supposed to do. Probably not, but you know what? All right, drop the cakes. I'm gonna go first because I know you're gonna score this really high. I'm gonna give it a six and a half. It's it's good, I enjoy them, but they're not like, I don't know. The orange chocolate combo for me is not always like, I'm not quite with it. I find the orange to chocolate combination, they, they've nailed it here. Made the orange natural, they made it light enough that it's not overpowering. And the chocolate, I, I could go on forever, but basically I'm gonna rate these. You just like read a poem about your love just, of Jaffa cakes. Just, yep, there you go. And so I'm gonna, I'm just gonna rate them at an eight. All right, next up we have Canberry Fingers. And I'm curious about these because this does not look like a biscuit to me right off the bat. It looks more like a sweet, a candy, a sweet. Comes in this little like plastic tray thing and uh, they're just kind of rolling around in there. So maybe they got disturbed in there, but yeah, I don't know. Not coming across to me like a, a biscuit. They're good though. Those are really good. It was a little dangerous. Yeah, you gotta dunk it. Oh yeah. <laughs> you may need another one. <laughs> oh, them chocolate milk's fast. I don't think it's a dunking biscuit. Mm -mm. The chocolate's too overpowering. You're basically just getting wet chocolate. Yeah, and the tea is so really hot. So like, as you get it closer to the tea, like, oh, it melts fast. But mm -hmm. I like that about Cadbury, that it's just like really melty. Cadbury's figured out chocolate way more than Something like Hershey's, when it was a bit controversial, lots of sugar, it's not even really chocolate, that sort of thing. <laughs> Cadbury's figured it out, it's good, really good. I would rate this mm, a six. Interesting. I'm going a strong seven on this one. Yeah, I, I love the chocolate. I'm gonna change my mind seven. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> See, this is why I have to read first, because then you'll just change yours. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> no, I thought about it, because like the others, the first two we had, we're just kind of middle ground, but this is really sweet because of the chocolate. Yeah. But it's not as good as the Jaffa cake. Mm. What's interesting is I'd still call this like a candy or like a cracker. I'd call all of these like crackers. For this one, we kind of struggled to find a brand name. So we're just going with the ones available at Sainsbury's. But these are the milk chocolate malted milk biscuits. These biscuits have the malted milk flavoring within the biscuit. And they're also kind of and they also have a very thin layer of chocolate on the bottom. Mm -hmm. Or at the top, depending. <laughs> no, I bet it's the bottom, because the top has got like a little, almost got like a little cap on it. Yeah. That's cute. And it says malted milk. Mm -hmm. But I guess these also come uncovered, so you can get them without the chocolate too, which is interesting. I'm gonna eat a chocolate side up like a rebel. It does remind me a little bit of like a Whopper, like a malted milk ball, you know? Which 
I know, they both have like malt flavoring in it. But I didn't think it would because those ones are like the chocolate to biscuit ratio is split. What would you say the ratio of chocolate to biscuit is here? Spot on. <laughs> <laughs> it's really good. But I mean, it's probably what, 70, 80% biscuit? Probably more like 90. It's just so thin on top. And I think it's a perfect balance. Mm. It's it's better than the Cadbury one because that mm. has so much chocolate, it's overwhelming. But this has a strong biscuit flavor to it, similar to that of the first two, and just lightly complimented. Yeah, I really do feel like it's kind of like, no, oh, it's really like the, um, what's it called, rich something? Rich, rich biscuit? tea. Rich tea. Okay. You were called a rice tea and I'm just blanking. <laughs> <laughs> it's really similar to the rich tea one that we tried, but it's mixed with like the Cadbury one. Um, I don't think this is Cadbury chocolate on top, but if it was, I think it would be perfect because I think it's a good ratio and it's easier to hold than the Cadbury finger one was, which is everywhere, which, you know, like I said, when you try and dip it. And the other one didn't dip well. This one dipped well. It's dunk factor was on point. I would have to rate this one a seven. Ooh, I'm giving and it a half. 8.5. I really like this one. The ginger nut biscuit must be difficult to find because I could only find the fiery ones. So my hopes are a little high. We'll see. Your hopes are high. Perfect. Love it. Well, um, from what I was seeing, these are also considered a very dunkable biscuit. Um, and unlike the other ones, which are only supposed to be dunked in tea, I, I saw that these are acceptable to dunk in coffee, but the other ones not so much. And these have a, a prominent ginger flavor. So I'm not the biggest fan of ginger, but you love ginger. Were you trying to break it? I was just showing how, how hard it is. Is it hard? Uh-huh. <laughs> it's a little much for me. Really? I don't really care for I don't think it's much. strong enough. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't really care for ginger that much, and then I said that's ironic. All right. Okay. Dunk. Yep. These are peak dunking biscuits. Yeah, I would say in the reverse of the other ones, in which you are dunking them and like hoping that they don't crumble. This one, you're almost dunking it to make it edible, because <laughs> otherwise you're like trying not to break the teeth on it. I'm not the biggest fan, but this is really because I just don't like ginger. As a Biscuit, I almost said cookie. Oh, I almost said cookie. Oh no. <laughs> As a biscuit by itself, it's pretty decent, like in terms of structure and stuff, but I don't know. So what I'm, would you rate it? I'm giving it a generous four. Ooh, I'm gonna have to go five and a half. It's definitely better than the first two because it has that strong kick. Kind of towards the end, it kind of comes comes back a little bit. See, it, the aftertaste is killing it for me. I think if we sit here longer, I'm lowering it to 3.5. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like it. It's just like sitting on my tongue. I'm not a fan. All right, next up, we've got shortbread. And if Mary Berry has taught me anything, it's to be really excited when shortbread's out. So I am excited to try these. I've never had these. I've actually never had any of these with the exception of Jaffa cakes. Shortbread originated and was baked in Scotland where it started in the 12th century and it wasn't popular until the 16th century where butter became more widely available. I like, I think I could do shortbread because there's only like three ingredients and I'm not a good baker, but this is just flour, sugar, and butter. You can really smell the butter. There's a quick little close up of it. We also uh, warmed up our tea in between here and got some more. I thought for sure that was gonna crumble right into there and maybe it's because I just went and dip real fast because I was a little bit spooked, but I don't get held up in the dump test. I don't know. Uh, maybe I just had my hopes up really high, but I was expecting a lot from this and it was, it was decent. Very buttery. Very basic. I mean, it has three ingredients. What are you giving it, Jay? I'm gonna go with four. I'm gonna give it a five. It's, it's good, but yeah, I don't know. It almost needs like a little bit of jam or a little bit of something on it, which uh, brings us to our next biscuit. Well, it just so happens our very next biscuit is exactly what you were hoping for. These are jammy dodgers, which are shortbread biscuits with raspberry filling or jam on the inside. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. Well, 
I like how they have their initials on it. That's really cute. Little JD. You can see the little heart right there. And, yeah. A um, little window to the inside. Yeah. These are, I'm going to give them extra points just for the, the visualization. This is a dry cookie biscuit part of me. I feel like I have to do a shot every time I mess that up. <laughs> <laughs> just off to the side. Just... Okay, don't test. Don't test helped. This is dry and crumbly. But altogether, I think it is better than a shortbread. Just yes. Myself. I don't know how I feel because it's quite different as you progress through the cookie. So like on the outside, it's more cookie than it is the, the filling or the jam. You get to the middle and there's this like huge burst of it. Mm -hmm. And I guess, I mean, obviously that's apparent. You can see the giant heart, but I don't know. It seems it's it's like kind a of whole strong. experience as you travel. Yeah. Through. <laughs> it's, it's good though. It, the, the taste is growing on me a bit. Mm -hmm. I do like the raspberry flavor. I was reading that it comes in a bunch of different flavors. You can get chocolate. Toffee, strawberry, lemon. Toffee? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it'd be interesting to try a couple different ones. This is like considered a classic. Like I guess like the 11th Doctor Who or something was a really big fan and made it into the series. Like, yeah, these are like an iconic thing. I'm glad that we tried them. I think they're good. I'm over here just going through the wave of flavor from the Jamie Dodgers. I like how you're like, this is such an experience. No, I mean, it is. Like you're like tripped out on cookies, on biscuits. Gosh darn it. <laughs> I don't know, like the taste changes the longer. It does. I mean, I would, it's I'm gonna good. do it again. This is probably like so taboo, but like I'm gonna compare it to eating a Pop-Tart again. Like as you eat different parts of it, it no, tastes no, different. No. Like if you eat the edge of a Pop-Tart, it's all dry. But when you eat the middle with all the filling and stuff, it's, it's a lot different. No, I. It's way different, in my opinion. Like I didn't say it's the same. I'm the, saying the concept. The, the pop tart is so artificial, and this is like have no nasty stuff. We're yeah. jammy enough. I'm, we're just not used to it, I guess. I don't know. I'm blown away by these. You're blown away yeah. by these. All right, give me your blown away score then. I want to go with an eight. Wow, look yeah. at that. That's probably, I think that's the highest score you've given so far. Uh, um, Jaffa cakes were also an eight. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if they. I don't know which is better than the other. I think it's two different things, and that's because you have orange and you have raspberry. You like the, like the fruity thing? Yeah. All right, we've been going about these for a while, so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up my score. I'm gonna give it, um, I'm gonna give it a 6.5. Okay. On to our third to last biscuit, which is called a Viennese. Now, what we were technically on the hunt for was a Viennese whirl. However, we weren't able to find it. What we did find were these milk chocolate Viennese, and I hope that we found the right thing because I was reading that these can often be mistaken as empire biscuits and vice versa. And the difference between an empire biscuit and a Viennese whirl, the Viennese whirl is supposed to have the icing on the outside and empire is on the inside. And this does have icing on the inside, but it says Viennese. Maybe it's lying to me. Well, we tried. We did try. And uh, they look decent. I don't know. Kind of gives me like, a, like an inside out eclair vibe. It's got a really good texture. Like the biscuits got a crunchy layer, kind of hollow-esque, but not like fluffy on the middle, but it's not from the chocolate. Chocolate's a very thin layer. Mm -hmm. It's really good. It's like the exact opposite of the Cadbury fingers. Yes. <laughs> well, now we're gonna do a quick dunk taste. That was great dunked. Mm -hmm. These are good. I don't... This is one of those that the dunkability score raises it. Mm -hmm. I felt, maybe I just timed that dunk really well. That was a good dunk. Uh -huh. Let's see if I can do it twice in a row. No, it's a biscuit, it's good. I think these are good as fingers. I'm curious how the swirls or the whirls would be. Yeah, I don't know how they'd be different. I hope this, let us know, is this the same thing as a Viennese whirl? Did we mess this up? Regardless, it's delicious. Score for me, I'm gonna give it a, but honestly, I would give it a 6.5, but the dunkability brings it up to a 7.5. I like it. I'm gonna go seven. Hmm. This might be in the top contender. I'm not doing maths in my head right now, but it's gotta, you hear that S in math? Don't do that math. <laughs> <laughs> gotta be up at the top, pretty close to. This biscuit has an interesting name. As you can see here on the biscuit, it has the word it looks like nice. However, it is named after the city in southern France, Nice. 
So these are Nice Biscuits. It is a coconut flavored rectangle shaped biscuit. It doesn't give me like a strong coconut vibe. It does smell like coconut, but it doesn't taste like coconut. I have definitely been saying nice. When I went to go get the package, I was like, oh, it's a nice package. <laughs> these are perfect for Christmas cookies because then you can be naughty or nice. nice. Uh, I think it is way better dunked. Yeah. Like it goes from like a five to like a seven. Ooh, that's a high dunkable score. I think it is really dunkable. I don't know. I think it. I think it's nice. It's pleasant. I would say. Dare to say it's nice. <laughs> I'd rather the only be blood find that funny. <laughs> okay, so I would say five without the dunk, but only a six with the dunk. And I hope you saved room, Jordan, because we still have one last biscuit. And last but not least, we have digestives, which we had actually heard about before we moved here. And they do not sound great. It sounds like some type of medicine, like a like a tum or something like that. But just from looking at it straight off, it looks like an unfilled drop of cake. Kind of does, yes. Yeah, like somebody forgot to put the filling in it. Would like to mention two honorable mentions for cookies. The first being hobnobs and the second being bourbon. We were unable to find them at the time of shopping before recording this video, but if you guys want us to see and go find those specific biscuits, let us know in the comments. All right, ready? Let's do it. Boop. I read that these were originally invented in 1839 by two Scotsmen to help with digestion. So they are exactly what they sound like. And I was speaking to my coworker, Ellie, and she said, and I quote, well, oh, digestives, they're quite, quite nice. So I was excited to try these. They're good. You're right, Ellie, they are quite nice. <laughs> <laughs> these are um, actually the same company that makes the Joppa Cakes, I believe. Well, there we go. So That's it. <laughs> these are good, not necessarily dunkable. I think the chocolate's too present. Yeah, it just makes it hard to, how to hold it properly. Like, you have to hold it on the edge because the chocolate was just not super flavor. Mm -hmm. It was really good though. They also make these without chocolate. I saw a lot of those. And market. they make them with dark chocolate too. Mm-hmm, saw those, yep. So that would be good. Maybe we do like an alternate video where we make, you know, try all these different ones. Mm, score for this, I'm gonna give it a nine. I liked it. A nine? Yeah, it was good. I feel like I could easily eat a bunch of these in the way that you can eat like a bunch of Oreos if you want to. I don't think I'd rate it that high. What? Get out of here. They're good. I don't know if they're that good. And I know like- All right, I, lay it yeah, on me. I, I, Hate on my digestives, go I ahead. I think it's like a six. What the heck? You're just trying to tank the score so, no, you're, no, so no, your no, Java no. gigs win. No, 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 no. <laughs> And there you have it. That's our uh, top rated biscuits for you. Um, this was fun. I really enjoyed this. I think it was uh, interesting to try all these different ones. We see them in the stores all the time, but honestly, Joppa Cakes are the only ones we tried before this. So this is a good time. It was super good. I know I can feel all the sugar. <laughs> There's a lot of biscuits to eat in one <laughs> setting, but hopefully you guys enjoy this segment of Americans Try. Thank you guys so much for watching. We really appreciate it. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like, follow us on socials, all those links down below. And we'll catch you guys in our next video. Cheers.